A new era in Star Wars. A new breed of woman. This lady is no imprisoned princess, no dead aunt, no slave to a sexist slug. She is a scavenger, a sand surfer, and a seriously good negotiator. Forget binary sons. This is a non-binary world. There's just one gender that matters, and it doesn't begin in X and end in Y. Rey is counting down the days until she can escape the kitchen. She's not much of a cook, she forgets to water the plants, she eats like Bruce Bogtrotter, but she does know how to befriend robot footballs. Come on. Time waits for no man, and Ray doesn't either. An elephant man offers 60 portions for the ball, but she's not playing a man's game, not for sale. Go see Luke if he still has his old balls flying around somewhere, for in this new era of Star Wars, it isn't the men who have the balls, but the women. Rey is suddenly set upon by some sand people. Oh no, who will come to her rescue? How about this crash-landed stormtrooper reject? Think again. She can pound a sandman's ass like borosilicate glass. And Finn, finished if he makes another move. What's your hurry, thief? What? Thief? A surprising first impression. Poe didn't make it. Finn is lying, like all the men in the new Star Wars. He tells Rey the football has a secret map to Luke Skywalker. I thought he was a myth. Remembered as a myth, not the man or the legend. Finn thinks this is 1977. The first big action scene, the first chance for Rey to show there's a new star in Star Wars, and it's not one who needs the help of a man. The evil white stormtroopers bring Finn to the floor. Finn's instinct... Are you okay? Yeah. Pure misogyny. We need a pilot! We've got one! You! Keep up, young man. This is 2015. Women are not coked up companions. They are... in the cockpit. The Millennium Falcon has a new pilot and, unlike Han Solo, she flies solo all by herself. Ray's run from Jakku makes the trench run look like a run to the local shops. The galaxy has never seen such piloty. Top Gun Maverick, a piece of proverbial cake compared to that. Ray's skill and artistry in the hot seat. How did you do that? I don't know. Finn offers his assistance. No, no, no. Regret leaving the stormtroopers yet. Is that a boyfriend? Cute boyfriend? A typical man with only one thing on his mind. None of your business. Their ship has been locked onto. Who could it be? Finn joins the Me Too movement. The Millennium Falcon looks like it's been put back in a kid's toy box. Finn feels the weight of Ray's gigantic balls. Han Solo? I used to be. This may be your ship, Han, but you're no longer its steer. Chewie, throw him in a pod, we'll drop him at the nearest inhabited planet. Wait, no! She's no young princess, old man. A raft tar breaks loose, and it's hungry for men. Ray saves the day, and Chewie makes way. Han made the Kessel run in 12 parsecs, but needs Ray to tell him where the on button is. A few more bad hombres are blasted on takeoff for good measure. What'd you do? I bypassed the compressor. Ray shows Han what he's been doing wrong for the past 50 years. Listen, big deal. You got another problem. Women always figure out the truth. Time to fess up, Finn. There's a new woman lie detector in town. You might need this. Han offers a helping hand. I think I can handle myself. Are you offering me a job? I'm thinking about it. There may be no more Jedis, but there's plenty of white males wielding their privilege. Yoda... You've got a new old wise sage to look up to. Poor Maz has run this dive for 1,000 years and still has to serve drinks. When she speaks, the mic drops. A woman with a voice in Star Wars. Jabba and his slaves? Not this time. She's in command. If you live long enough, you see the same eyes in different people. I'm looking at the eyes of a man who wants to run. Maz has seen her fair share of cowardly males itching to flee. Finn! Who's the girl? Maz knows a true warrior when she sees one. Ray, come with me. Don't 
don't go. Rey doesn't care if it's the First Order or the Last Order. She doesn't take orders from men like Finn. Rey hears the voices of every woman who has suffered at the hands of the Patriarchy. Rey touches the mystical lightsaber and has a vision of evil men in helmets and evil men telling her to be quiet. Quiet, girl. That lightsaber was Luke's and his father's before him, and now it calls to you. No more fathers and sons. The Force has a new face. Maz asks her to take the lightsaber, and she goes from Force user to Forrest Gump. No one will force Rey to become one with the Force. The running goes on and on, until she sees her friends are under attack. Can anyone call an Uber? The tribe was spotted heading west with a girl. A girl? Now that's a step too far. Even one who has the Mark woman ship of Billy the Kid. All the stormtroopers are so very white and so very male. The girl I've heard so much about. Not the engineer, not the warrior, but the girl. Darth sexist. Kylo Ren freezes her in place, reads her mind, then puts her to sleep. Zero respect for the rights of a woman. Finn races to rescue her and save her through the power of male screaming. You still want to kill me? That happens when you're being hunted by a creature in a mask. Ray's put down is enough to make Kylo immediately put down his helmet. Ray looks unimpressed. Is that it? You know I can take whatever I want. Like all men, he believes he has all the power over a woman. I'm not giving you anything. But Rey is no ordinary woman. She's a modern woman who can resist anything a man throws at her. You will remove these restraints. It took Obi-Wan all his life to perfect the Jedi mind trick. Rey, the time it takes to flush a toilet. Kylo goes into masculine male meltdown. Harry Houdini meet runaway Rey. This is one lady who doesn't need rescuing. You all right? Yeah. How did you get away? No, Ray, Han and Chewie stay here. I'm being torn apart. Kylo's Oedipal rage rips his father apart. Before he can sew up some fin fillet, the power of woman rises. Kylo says she needs a teacher, but Rey is the one giving lessons, a masterclass in defeating misogyny. Kylo hits the deck like a lifeboat on the Titanic. Queen of the Force right ahead. Who needs training when you have natural talent like that? Kylo is saved by Mother Nature. Put your mask back on Kylo, for you won't be able to show your face around here anymore. Rey finally meets the princess, who is now a queen and a general. Star Wars has a new Jedi and a new Han Solo, all rolled into one. Luke sees his heir apparent. She offers his old lightsaber back, and so begins the longest staring contest in the history of the galaxy. Rey doesn't blink first. The lightsaber that destroyed an empire and brought balance to the force? Garbage. A symbol of the patriarchy. Luke is no longer the hero, but a grumpy old man. Go away! You don't need Luke Skywalker. Correct. We need a new hero. A hero with an I, an N, and an E on the end. Think what? I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down the whole First Order. Luke realizes all his conquests, all his triumphs, mean nothing. The galaxy is still ruled by men. The Jedi days are over. Luke's enjoying his retirement, milking mermaids, and fishing with a pole vault. Good luck getting that fish in the frying pan. No one's from nowhere. Jakku. All right, that is pretty much nowhere. Rey is from nowhere. It's not where she's from that matters, but what's inside her. Something inside me has always been there. Three lessons. I will teach you the ways of the Jedi. Three lessons? All she needed was ten minutes, Luke, considering she already handed Kylo's ass back to him. All of Luke's servants are women. Never Ooh. hit a girl, Luke. Didn't your father teach you that? It's calling me. Distant Rey. Rey. Ray's power scares the most powerful force user ever to exist. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Luke fearlessly faced the Emperor and the Sith Lord, but Ray is one step too far. 
I know everything I need to know about you. You are a monster. Yes, I am. A monster who gets squashed like a bug. Luke sees the light. The light of a bright new dawn for Star Wars. I failed because I was Luke Skywalker. Jedi Master. A legend. Luke reflects on his past and accepts that what the Star Wars universe really needed was not a white man, but a white woman called Rey. Kylo reveals the shocking truth that Apple does not fall far from the tree. Luke tried to kill the youngling in his sleep, just like Anakin in the Jedi Temple. The man so many worships since 1977 is nothing but an attempted child murderer. The patriarchy has an innocent face, but a sinister soul. Rey reaches out to Kylo. It isn't too late. Make love, not war. Master and Apprentice face off. Not even three lessons in, and Rey has Luke on the floor. Tell me the truth. I saw darkness. Luke Skywalker, the son who did not give up on his genocidal father, confirms he was ready to execute order, kill child Kylo. You failed him by thinking his choice was made. It wasn't. Rey teaches Luke a valuable life lesson. Ben Solo will turn. Don't. Do this. Old Man Luke still thinks this is an era in which women listen to him. Luke can't handle the burn, and proceeds to burn down the Force Tree. The Jedi Master has gone from a master of restraint to easily triggered. At least Yoda can have a laugh. Rey arrives to see Kylo. She never blinks first. I feel the conflict in you. It's tearing you apart. After one weekend getaway to Temple Island, Rey already speaks like a Jedi Master. Come closer, child. Snoke calls a grown woman a child, and then forces her forward. He moves in for the kiss. No. Rey is willing to sacrifice herself for the cause. Snoke's sexist order must fall. No. Such spunk. Snoke talks spunk, but he's the one who gets penetrated. Rey and Kylo join forces against an army of men in red capes. It looks like she needs saving, but not now, not ever again. Kylo's the one who needs help from a woman. After saving his life, he tries to take charge. Don't do this, man. It doesn't work. He tries emotional blackmail. Do you want to know the truth about your parents? They're filthy junk traders who sold you off for drinking money. Nice try, toxic masculine male, but this lady's not for turning. These rocks, paper mache. Ray has the power to move mountains and see dead people. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Ray levitating inside an asteroid belt. Even CGI Luke couldn't do this. They're not with me. Ugh. Nothing's impossible. Leia would know. She passes on the torch to the next generation of indestructible force women. Kylo goes in balls deep. Never underestimate a droid. Yes, master. Luke was the grumpy old Jedi. Leia, the old wise mistress. You know what you are? What? You're difficult. You, You're a difficult man. You are... Ray. Ray creates a new Poe's law. You only speak when spoken to by Ray. You're the best fighter we have. We need you. True. A face like thunder. For men do not get to decide who is the best anymore. Ray is the best there was, the best there is, and the best there ever will be. I know how to get to Exegol. But to get there, you need one of these. A Sith Wayfinder. I need to finish what Luke started. The galaxy's greatest minds are stumped until Sherlock Skywalker solves the mystery. The game is afoot. I need to go alone. It's too dangerous, Finn. These backup bros have seen more action than both world wars, but they'd only slow Rey down. She is saying, welcome. Mm -hmm. Her name is Nambi Gima. That's an excellent name. She would be honored to know your family name too. I don't have one, I'm just Rey. The men. Freeze. Oh. Hold it right there. Mononymous Rey. The red carpet. This is General Lando Calrissian. We know who he is, 3 Idiot droid. Rey knows everything, despite spending most of her life on a rock. Give Leia my love. You should give it to her yourself. Back off, creep. You're not in Cloud City anymore. You're in the region of Rey. She shoots. She scores. Never underestimated.
woman. Finn distracts Ray and Ray Robin Hood. Yes, Poe, size does matter. Ray finds the Master Sword. It's the clue that Master Luke was looking for. Ray sinks into the one sand pit on the planet containing the one sword they're looking for. The force is strong in this one. Luke chooses war. Ray chooses peace. Ray performs miracles like Jesus of Nazareth after three lessons and a couple of brown bag meetings. The Dark Knight has nothing on Ray of Light. It's man vs woman, the light vs the dark. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. A woman's true power runs deep. But... It wasn't your fault, it was Ren. No matter the destruction, the root cause is the patriarchy. The power of Rey meets the power of the Power Rangers. Not that you care, but I think you're okay. All of Ray's enemies are roll call of those in admiration. Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. All eyes on Ray. Chewie is on Ren's ship. And if he wasn't alive, Ray would bring him back from the no, dead. No. It's okay that we're here. It's okay that you're here. It's good. Ray's control over men is complete, as is her aim assist. <laughs> The ragtag bunch of bros get captured, the Heavenly Sister still free to see the charred remains of Darth Doesn't Matter and reclaim the Master Sword. Darth Also Doesn't Matter forces Rey to remember her parents. She's in no mood for psychotherapy with a psycho, but is in the mood to kick the dark side wannabe's ass again. You don't just have power, you have his power. You're his granddaughter. You are a Palpatine. False advertising. You know what you need to do. All the stormtroopers hit the deck. Kylo can't move. Ray, walking on sunshine. It's gonna take us years to find what we're looking for. Oh dear. More like seconds. The master sword is the master key for a master Jedi like Ray. He said you'd come. He said you were the last hope. From one strong, independent woman to another. She took the skimmer. Ray independently shoots off Truman Show style. Nath and Drake, eat your heart out. Rey battles the most powerful being in the universe, herself. Kylo destroys the Wayfinder and tries to destroy Rey, but... A soft, feminine voice is like a lightsaber straight through the heart of the patriarchy. Rey goes full god mode, and Kylo realizes the error of his toxic masculine ways. The scorned woman becomes Scorched Earth, but only Luke is allowed to throw his lightsaber into the garbage. I was wrong. Words that will never come out of Ray's mouth. There's something my sister would want you to have. Lightsaber. A thousand generations live in you now, but this is your fight. A thousand Jedis ain't got nothing on the wand named Jedi Ray. The galaxy's hotshot new starfighter, Star Wars Maverick. Long have I waited for my grandchild to come home. Of all the things the Emperor eagerly waited for, Rey was number one. I wanted you here, Empress Palpatine. You will take the throne. Long live the new queen of Star Wars. The Emperor tries the same trick he tried on Luke. Will this time it go his way? Nice try, old man. It'll take more than a sit on the throne and the promise of demonic possession to persuade Rey. All the Jedis who ever lived give Rey the ultimate cosmic pep talk. The Emperor's Force Lightning ruled the galaxy, but Rey can equal him one-handed and easily defeat him with two. Next time, ask Rey to fight with her hands tied 
behind her back. Star Wars Romeo and Juliet finally touched first base, but Rey's lips are just as deadly as her lightsaber. If only Rey had kissed him in the first film. Ray has saved the day, and it's enough to make a grown man cry. The ghosts of Star Wars' patriarchal past are laid to rest. Who are you? I'm Ray. Ray who? Ray Skywalker. I'm so Out. sorry, George. I didn't think it would go like this. <laughs> Out! Ray. 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 That's not true. That's impossible.